Carmelo Anthony is finally going to win an NBA championship. Let's get into this. Carmelo Anthony was drafted with the number 3 overall pick in the 2003 NBA Draft to the Denver Nuggets, and ever since Melo was drafted, he was always known as an absolute bucket. Melo was an amazing draft pick for the Denver Nuggets. Year after year, they always made the playoffs. They'd made some noise in the playoffs, but they could never really get far enough to actually win an NBA championship. Melo had an absolute great career in Denver. All the fans loved Melo. He was an absolute bucket. He was a great player for them. He was the reason why they made the playoffs all those years after years. The organization obviously loved him, but eventually he wanted to go home to the New York Knicks and really fulfill there and try to win an NBA championship there. Because after some seasons, it was clear that the Nuggets were able to make the playoffs and make some noise, but they were never really a true championship contender, and Melo felt that, and that's why he wanted to change teams and go home to the Knicks. The Knicks previous to that have been known as an organization that's just terrible, never makes the playoffs, just a very dysfunctional franchise, but Melo wanted to be the guy who comes to the Knicks and actually helps them win an NBA championship. Because if you win an NBA championship in New York, there's there's no greater experience. The fans will love you. You'll be the most popular player in the NBA by far, honestly. If you can bring a championship to the Knicks, just imagine that. We saw how crazy the Knicks fans were after making the playoffs for the first time in eight seasons, and the Knicks only won one game in that playoff series, and we saw how excited those Knicks fans are. So just imagine if Melo came back to New York and won a championship. Imagine how excited all the fans would be, and how he would just set the NBA world on fire. But overall, Melo's career with the New York Knicks was definitely a successful one. He made the playoffs basically every season he was there and which was an accomplishment by the way before Melo got there the Knicks were absolutely atrocious and making the playoffs would be a huge achievement for them but Melo basically his career with the Knicks he made the playoffs most of the years that he was there and his best season was definitely in 2013 where Melo actually won the scoring title over Kevin Durant which is pretty crazy at the time and the Knicks were actually the second seed in the Eastern Conference and in the first round they actually won a first round playoff series against the Boston Celtics 4-2 although they probably should have won it earlier either way it was definitely an accomplishment that the Knicks finally got past that first round and in that second round matchup against the Pacers, they definitely had a shot, but it was pretty clear that all the older players they had on that team just got too tired out. And at the time, the Pacers were just too much for the Knicks. And that's really the highest the Knicks ever got with Melo, which was to the second round of the NBA playoffs. But Melo's career with the Knicks was definitely ended in a pretty ugly fashion when Phil Jackson completely just wanted Melo off the team at that time. Melo was a guy who meant a ton to Knicks fans. He was a guy that actually was the first superstar that actually wanted to come to the New York Knicks. He was from New York. He was playing great a lot of Knicks fans loved him before the end but Phil Jackson kind of turned a lot of Knicks fans on him because what Phil Jackson wanted to do was trade away Melo and go towards a younger movement which was actually the right move at the time the Knicks obviously weren't winning by the time Melo was about to leave they were clearly in rebuilding mode and keeping Melo on the team who was already getting older and on a huge contract just didn't make much sense on that team so Phil Jackson actually had the right idea of moving Melo but the way he was doing it just wasn't the best just clearly telling Melo that he was going to get traded and the Knicks wanted to trade him and didn't want him on the team and make, making Melo look like the bad guy for not wanting to leave the Knicks which is not the right way to do it. But then Melo's career kind of took a turn for the worst. He first got traded to the Oklahoma City Thunder where initially there was a ton of excitement because they had Paul George, Russell Westbrook and Carmelo Anthony but clearly that didn't want to work out. Melo wasn't willing to come off the bench which was a big issue. Then he went to the Houston Rockets where that completely didn't work out either and then he was kind of out of the league for a little bit. Melo was just at a down point in his career for sure. Melo clearly had the ability to play in the NBA and he was still a very good scorer in the league but just for whatever reason Melo no NBA team really wanted Melo and Melo was kind of just stuck working out by himself and just continuing to get better on his own and maybe potentially getting an NBA opportunity again sometime and eventually that time did come with the Portland Trailblazers where Melo actually signed with them and played very well by the way and that really helped out his career tremendously now Melo's back in the league NBA teams are interested in him again and he just proved that he could still play in the NBA these days and not necessarily be the main guy in the team anymore. But that's basically at the point that we are now. Carmelo Anthony just recently signed with the Los Angeles Lakers, which is a big difference from the teams he were on previously. So the teams he were on previously, when we're talking about the Portland Trailblazers, the Houston Rockets, the Oklahoma City Thunder, New York Knicks, Denver Nuggets, a lot of those teams never really had a real chance to win an NBA championship, especially the Knicks, Nuggets, and Blazers. Some people thought that the Houston Rockets team with Melo and the Oklahoma City Thunder team with Melo had a pretty good chance of winning a championship, or at least a decent chance, but that never worked out 
obviously. But when you talk about the Knicks, Nuggets, and Blazers, a lot of people never really expected them to win an NBA championship. So Melo was never really on a true NBA contender, as you can say. And I think now this is all changing with this Lakers team. This Lakers team obviously is one of the favorites to win the NBA championship going into this season with the Brooklyn Nets. What the Lakers were able to add this offseason was absolutely amazing. First, obviously, they were able to add Melo. They were also able to add Russell Westbrook. They were able to add a ton of shooting, a ton of defense, and a ton of scoring off the bench as well. And obviously, you still have LeBron James and Anthony Davis on your team. It's just a very good and very complete team going into next season. And I think them versus the Brooklyn Nets should be a very fun finals matchup to watch. And this would be the first time that Melo ever makes the finals if they indeed do live up to their expectations and do make it. And hopefully, if they do win, the, make the NBA finals, they will actually win the NBA championship for Carmelo's sake. And he can finally get that NBA championship under his belt. But let's quickly talk about what Carmelo Anthony could do on the offensive end of the ball and how does he actually help the Lakers win a championship potentially this season. When you look back at the history of the NBA and you think of the best scorers in the NBA history, you definitely think of Carmelo Anthony as one of those guys. I think probably Kevin Durant is the best true scorer in NBA history, but Melo is definitely up there with one of the best. Melo could do literally everything on the offensive end. First of all, he has a pull-up mid-range shot. He's very good from that mid-range area. He can catch and shoot from the mid-range spot. He has a post turnaround fadeaway from that mid-range spot. He has a pull-up jump shot from that mid-range. He can drive all the way to the basket. He can dunk over you. He could finish around you. And then when you're talking about the three-point line, he could hit threes, catch and shoot threes. That's probably one of his best things, honestly. He can create for himself, make those three-point shots. There's nothing on the offensive end that he can't do, and I think that's going to help this Lakers team tremendously, especially when you're talking about when LeBron James is off the court, and maybe even Anthony Davis is off the court as well. You can really focus on Melo and just make him that primary scorer, and he can get you buckets even at this age of his career. At this point in Melo's career, I think this is the first time you can truly say that Melo's on a true championship contender, and they have expectations to win a championship, not that if they can win, they'll be great. They, the Lakers actually have expectations to win a championship, especially after what they were able to do this offseason. So I think this is a great thing for Melo, and this gives Melo a true chance to really compete and see how he plays in the playoffs and performs when he gets deep into the playoffs and hopefully makes it to the NBA Finals, and hopefully in the NBA Finals wins a championship for the first time in his career. I think Melo definitely deserves it. Melo's been a great player in the league for years now. He's definitely done it the right way. He never really joined up on his super team. But I think at this point in his career, we get Melo deserves an NBA championship. But anyways, let me know what you guys think in the comments. Do you think Carmelo Anthony does deserve to win an NBA championship? And do you think he's actually going to win one this season? Or do you think the Lakers are probably not going to win an NBA championship this year? But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And if you did enjoy, please leave a like and subscribe and hit that post notification bell. It really helps me out a lot. Until the next time, peace out guys.